Hi guys, thanks for joining me today on my channel. This is Sister Trudy, aka Trudes, and we'll be doing a mukbang. It feels like a long time I have not seen you guys, but here I am today, you know, I'm giving God thanks. It's another day, and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna give you a close-up, hence I'm bending down. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a close-up of the food. Uh, you can probably tell what it is. Had to rip that skin off. Where is it? Off that pigtail there. That's the meal. I had to take the salad out just to give it a little warm up. And I have some avocados I just prepared. So that's the meal for today. This is stew peas and rice. And some veggies. And of course I have some tea, but we're gonna see if we can get a thumbnail That's a good one. And maybe another one. Okay. Okay. Alright. How are y'all doing today? It's, like I said, it's been a long time and I'm giving God thanks. Here another day. And I do have some tea today. And like I said, I have the veggies, but everything cannot sit perfectly on the table so we're gonna see how best we're gonna shuffle up some stuff and I have some water here um, yeah I made the tea already I made the water hot I'm just gonna put this to let it sit for a few in the hot water it's still hot I should have warmed it a bit but I think it's still hot and put some I have some half and half to put inside how y'all doing? How are you all doing? What are you eating? What's been going on with you? Do you even like this meal? Do you even know about this meal? What do you call this meal if you were to have it in your side of the town? You know, your side of the country, your side of the world, what would you call this meal? This meal is what I've known to be eating. It's one of my favorite, actually it is my favorite for my country, which is Jamaica. Um, but let's let's say grace before we get into all that uh, Father God in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for this food that you provided and I ask that you do bless this meal and All the other meals that are out there that people are Welcoming to eat at this moment and we pray that you bless it Lord in your name. We pray Amen. Whatever meal whatever drink whatever snack uh, And if you don't have a meal you know just by you giving God thanks you know to see another day I know he would appreciate that so we are gonna continue our video and I was talking pretty much about this but let me get started in chatting and while eating oh, yeah like I said I made some tea tonight instead of just drinking my water put some half and half in it so it's not super hot um, give me one second let me just put this away I'll be back guys I'm here guys I'm here I'm giving God thanks like I said um, yeah so this is a meal they place oxtails in it it consists of rice of course you get some veggies in mm-hmm It's very heavy. Yeah, it consists mainly of 
I would say what you want it to be because a lot of people that I've known have eat it multiple ways. You know, some eat it with beef if they're not into pork. Some people eat it with um, chicken foot. People have had it in different, different ways, but nevertheless, and this is my tea. Looks like coffee, but it's Earl Grey. Mm. Very good. The food is very good as usual. This, as I said, this is my favorite from my country. I love preparing this meal when I do, which is a very long time I haven't prepared it. The same things that I buy and they prepare it with, like the ox tail and the um, pig's tail. Those are the two things that I use. Mm-hmm. This is very good. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I made this meal myself. I remember I was spending time at my grandmother's home. Yeah, for those who know about pigtail, shout out to you guys who, you know, big up all of those who knew from the jump how pigtail must be prepared. But I can remember growing up, you know, my mom used to prepare um, stew peas and rice and all of that. But I was never necessarily um, around her when she's preparing every single meal. And especially the ones that it takes a long time to prepare guys to me you know it takes a long time so I can remember being at my grandma's house and I think she was away and my uncles would always go over for dinner I don't know what transpired however I can remember my uncle asking me what I want to prepare for dinner while I was spending time there I can remember because I love soupies I decided that thinking I could make it <laughs> so I get around to it and I started preparing it for the first time on my own nobody around to tell me what to do what to put in and all of that um, I remember doing it guys that stew peas if you know about pig steel i didn't know nothing about scalding off i just think you wash all the meat put them in the pot to boil and boil you know and so forth i did not know you have to scal off the pig steel meaning you know you wash it off let it boil by itself <laughs> i boiled everything together including the peas some things over got overcooked i think it was the peas i forgot it's a very long time but um I forgot how it was, but I know for sure that stew piece, it was very delicious. However, it was very salt. And if you had pressure, trust me, you'd have to end up at the doctor right after you eat my stew piece. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I remember most about preparing this meal. Mm -hmm. So, it's a good meal. It's very, it takes a long process based on if you're cooking it from scratch like the peas it's not um, ready-made peas 
meaning it's not peas in a can it's peas that is you know those packed peas or bag peas you buy them and you boil them boil them boil them because you want to get that rich color you know that redness for, for the stew peas so um yeah so that's what we normally do but after that meal was prepared and it was very salty I remember making it again hence I knew how to make it a little better mm. and it turned out very good I prepare it most times back then but more than I do now but it's just a long process and you have to set a lot I uh, set aside a lot of time in order to prepare it for it to turn out very good but this one right here from the restaurant which I love to purchase um, this food is called um, Caribbean star very good much fat on it but put it aside here but this food is very good the meat is very tender very soft you take out the excessive fat some people like the fat I don't really care for the fat too much mm. This type of meals is very filling. When you eat this type of meal, you don't tend to eat it a lot. It's like one of those one-time meal. I would say like a every every three weeks kind of cooking type of meal. This is one time for the whole three weeks. Even though it's my favorite, mm -hmm. I would like to say it, not a lot of people know how to prepare this meal. Even in the restaurant. When you do go to the restaurant, they tend to put a lot of unnecessary sauce. This meal, to me, it doesn't necessarily need a lot of anything. Once you have the right meats that you put with it. And it can be anything you want it to be, you know. It doesn't have to be what this is, which is oxtail and um, pig's tail. So many people don't eat pork. Many people don't eat pork for various reasons. Whether it's for health, or just because there was raised not to eat it. You know, so to each its own, but I think it helps to flavor the food real good for those who like pork.
this type of bone is the best. The pig steel bone. Mm -hmm. So this is it. nice to eat this meal not when you're super hungry really but when you're you know a bit on low on low so therefore you can finish your meal I don't care very much for the pigtail like this part of it but that's the oxtail mainly I love just love it I don't know this part of this meat is so good, oxtail. I love eating oxtail without eat it, without it even being in um, stupid. It is so good. Mmm. It was very good, very good, guys. a lot more rice than than just stew but This is it, my last bite of meat. Mm -hmm. mm. There was a lot of piece of meat here. <laughs> Yes, guys, this is very good, like I said. That's that. Thankful for that meal, you know. That's it guys, that's one of my favorite, favorite meal of all times. I know I have some fast food favorites, I have some drink favorites and stuff, but our juice favorite. 
However, that was one that was actually my favorite dish. So if you ever want to know my favorite dish, click on the, when you click on this video and watch it, you'll see for yourself that it's my favorite. Hopefully, it'll be a part of yours. As in, not your actual favorite, but wanna try it out. Um, I hope you when you do try it out, if you're not in New York, to try it from this particular restaurant called Caribbean Star. You'll be able to try it at a local, you know, one of the Jamaican restaurants that you can find, or a Caribbean restaurant that prepares it. And I hope you'll ensure if they don't even put all of the meat that you see I had just now, which is those two, you just ensure that you ask them that if oxtail is in it. And once that is in it, it's guaranteed to be great. Um, at least based on how they prepare it, because everybody don't cook as good as Caribbean Star or myself, and I'm just saying. <laughs> but anywho. I'm gonna be logging off right now. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to comment. I need to hear what you're eating at this particular moment. With the minute you see this video, even if you didn't have the meal prepared, say what you're going to prepare. And if you were just running out to buy something to eat and you saw my video, just come up, type fast or type slow or medium, type what it is that you're preparing or you're about to go and get okay anyway i'm gonna be signing off now thank you so much again for watching my channel eating with me and chatting with me all right i think i'm gonna re um design this video in terms of asking you guys to subscribe so therefore you don't miss any video at all that i post and all of the other videos there's some goodies there's some good talks in them it's just that um you might not get around to clicking it this one might be the one that allows for you to watch it all the way to the end, that allows for you to say, the other video, they're nice, watch them. And let's talk in terms of what you're eating. See you in the next video, okay guys? Bye, have a good one, stay safe, stay prayed up.